Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. Uh, we got one last show for this week. Uh, we did four fights this week. Uh, we're going to do this, this last one last minute. It is already Saturday. Um, we're going to get into Michelle Rivera versus Sergey Lipinets. Which I, I'm looking at the odds. I really like this. I'm going to get into why. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie, all, all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, we show you how to bring down the house. I don't gamble. Like I said, I always use DraftKings. I, I just think it's user-friendly. It's The interface is cool and user-friendly. And I, I, I like the odds. They give you pretty fair pretty, pretty fair odds. Um, so I always use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. But if you do gamble, if you do, um, I'm going to show you how to consistently make a, a second stream of income. Gambling and boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know how to handicap boxing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that my record is absolutely impeccable. Um, you'd be way up if you follow me on, on every fight. And that's what we're looking to do. Uh, we're looking to, to bring down the house. Um, also, subscribe to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It's completely dedicated to Texas uh, boxing and all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into this fight. Uh, so Lipinets is coming off a great win, which was now 16 months ago, 15 months ago, um, over Omar Figueroa, which is, you know, he, he had a bad loss to Enos. He, he bounced back a little bit. He got this win over Omar Figueroa, which is a dominant performance over a, a close, you know, a, a personal friend of mine. And, uh, you know, it was it was tough for me to watch that, but uh, Omar was completely shot in that fight. And I think he's getting – I think Lipinets is getting a little overrated. Look, I like Lipinets as a fighter. He works well on the inside, um, he, but he's, he's there to be hit, right? He throws in, in, in decent combinations on the inside. Uh, he, he wants to be on the inside. He's not the fastest guy, right? He's not the most athletic guy. He can be hit. He gets hits a lot. He's got a good pop. Right, especially on, on on the inside, he turns his punches over well. He generates torque on the inside. Um, you know, he's just an interesting guy because he looks so good against uh, Brandon Figueroa, and he looks so bad against Jared Enos. Right, because uh, Enos was fast and athletic, and when you fight a fast athlete, he gets exposed, which is what Rivera is. And Rivera looks so bad in his fight with Frank Martin. That I, I think people forget how good he is, right? Like when he was coming up, blowing people out, when, when he was out boxing people, outclassing people, people looked at him like he was a right handed lotter, right? Um, and it's, you know, look, he's been out of the ring 11 months. Uh, it's just uh, with these PPC fighters, with, with what was going on with the TV contracts, they've just been out of the ring. But when he was beating Adorno and he was beating, you know, guys like that, uh, John Fernandez, you know, he was really something else. Um, his skills are there, right? Like, uh, we, look, let's get into why he lost to Frank Martin. Frank Martin is the complete opposite of Sergey Lipinets, right? So the guy that made Rivera look really bad is the complete opposite of what he's fighting. And the guy that Lipinets fought, Brandon uh, Omar Figueroa, sorry, Omar Figueroa, is the complete opposite of what... Um, you know, Omar Figueroa is the complete opposite of Rivera. So the guy that Lipinets looks so good against is the complete opposite of what he's fighting. And, you know, Frank Martin was able to, to, to beat um, Rivera bad. Won every round, dropped him, dominated the fight. But why? Right? He was quicker, and he pot shot him with left hands. And Frank Martin, not a huge puncher, but it has respectable power. But he kept hitting him with it, hitting him with clean shots. And it was one shot, one, and, and Rivera had... No response. Why did Rivera have no response? Because for the first time, probably in his life, he was in with a guy who was faster than him, with quicker reflexes, than him, and he didn't know how to respond. That's not the case with Lipinets. Lipinets is slow. Lipinets has, has you know, he, like he, he's fundamentally he's got okay footwork, and, and he can and he can use angles and slide out, but he wants to be on the inside, and he gets hit coming out to the inside by guys who aren't fast. He just looked really good against Figueroa because Figueroa is slow and completely shot, right? And he's not fighting a slow, completely shot fighter. He's fighting a prime fast athlete with superb skills. What Frank Martin did 
to think that Lipinets is going to do that is ridiculous, right? That's not how Lipinets fights. You, you think, and if you think you can beat Rivera fighting the way Lipinets does, I I don't see it. Like he, Lipinets is good. He's not great, right? He's a world champion. He won a world title, and he got beat by Mikey Garcia. Uh, and, and I, I don't think Lipinets is bad. I think he's good. But stylistically, this is bad. He gets hit. He's going to have to try to get on the inside. And Rivera's just going to hit him. And Rivera's not feather fist. Rivera can punch. Again, he's not a one-punch knockout specialist, right? Like, that's not his game. But he can hit. He's got 14 knockouts. Um, I don't think Rivera's going to knock him out. But you, you can see why Frank Martin had success with him. And what Frank Martin does isn't something Lippens is even going to try to replicate. And, and what Lippin has did to Figueroa is not any way remotely similar to how Rivera fights. So uh, Rivera's got the sharper skills. Rivera's faster, right? Rivera's got more tools in his box. Rivera can fight from all three ranges where Lippin has, has to be kind of be on the inside, right? So it's just it's, this fight really, really favors my, uh, Michelle Rivera. Michelle Rivera is a, an exceptional fighter. He dominated everyone until he got to, 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 to the Frank Martin fight. Uh, but again, Frank Martin is completely different fighting Lipitz. Now, people are going to make a big deal about the size difference, right? Because Lipitz fights at 47, and, and, and Rivera's coming up from 35. Okay. Lipitz will probably be the, he will be the bigger man in the ring. But it's not two weight classes. Lipitz is not a 147. He went to 147 for the same reason Chris Algieri fights at 147. Because there's money there. There's big money there. There's big money fights at 147. But he's a 140 pounder. So this is really Rivera going up from 135 to 140. It's not that big of a deal. Especially when Rivera has such a huge advantage in in, in, in skills and speed. He's, he's just going to implement his skills and his speed. And Lippert is going to get tagged. Now, if, if Rivera couldn't punch at all, if he was pulling Melanagi, this may be a different story. But he can. He can hurt you. He, he, can, he, can make, he, you, he can make you respect his power. So this is not something where, where Lippert is going to use his size advantage, his strength advantage, and just steamroll Michelle Rivera. Let's get into the odds on this. When you look at the odds, both guys here are paying well. Lipinitz is minus 120 on the money line, and Rivera's minus 105. It's not what I want at all. I picked the wrong one. Sorry, guys. That's embarrassing. All right. Uh, oh, look, look, they already changed the regard. Minus 115. So the odds are already swinging. So this is basically a pick em fight. All right, let me refresh this. Look at that. That's basically a pick em fight. Look, the odds already got, got a little worse for Rivera. So place your bets now if that's what you do. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking over eight and a half rounds. I think this fight's definitely going over eight and a half rounds. I think that's a safe bet. You may want to make that a two times bet. Okay. You might want to do that. Well, I'll bet two times your normal bet. Whatever your normal bet is, double it. Make it in a hundred dollar bet is what we use here. It is sixty-eight ninety-six. Okay, not terrible. Um Michelle Rivera is getting uh, minus 115. They're both, uh, well, Lipinets is minus 110. So it's basically an even pick and fight. Um, and I, I don't see how Lipinets wins this fight. So I really like these odds. So that's going to make it 86.95. So that's 86.95 and 68. So you're making about 156 bucks, um, on this bet. If you want to take a two times bet on the, on the over, if you want to make it take a one times bet, <clears throat> cut that, uh, profit in half instead of making 70, I'll make about 35. Actually <clears throat> so make about 35 and 87. Uh, it's not bad money. And I, I really think that, you know, Rivera should be a, a, a bigger favorite. Actually on these odds, he's the slightest of underdogs. Even got, you know, even though, you know, because Lipinus has slightly better odds of winning the fight. Um, which I just think you're basing that off of one fight from each guy. Fine. Uh, Lipinitz fight was 15 months ago. Yeah, about 15 months ago. Um, 
And it was against the polar opposite of Rivera's. Rivera's fight was a year ago, 11 months ago, and it's the complete opposite of what Lipinets is. And I definitely think the fight is going to go over eight and a half rounds. I think we're definitely looking at a fight that goes a distance. Um, so I'm going to make this a one times bet. If you want to be safe, if you if you want to, I mean, not be safe, if, if you want to take a little roll of dice, make it a two times bet, because I think it's pretty safe that we're going over eight and a half. And here you go. Um, so the, we're taking. Over eight and a half, and we're taking Rivera on the money line. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. The boxing book, it comes at you for every big fight. Show you how to bring down the house and make an additional stream of income on uh, betting on boxing. Also, please uh, follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It's it's fight day. It's, uh, it's Saturday, November 25th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.